Curiosity is one of only two operating vehicles on all of Mars, half a world away from Jezero Crater. So it was a bit unsettling when Perseverance pulled up to a slab of rock after a recent drive and observed freshly made scrape marks on this episode of Mars Guy. In the previous episode, I reported on the arrival of Perseverance at a place called Doc's Castle, the first designated science stop on its trek up the crater rim. But it was the story of an earlier discovery of a bizarre zebra rock that was the focus of that episode. Now it's time to tell the story of the strange discovery at Doc's Castle that also posed a conundrum. Perseverance has been making tracks on its climb up the steep slopes of the Jezero Crater Rim. The long drive that reached the rocks of Doc's Castle ended with Perseverance nicely positioned to investigate this rock slab. Here's Mars Guy for scale. It looks pretty unremarkable given the resemblance to comparable slabs observed en route, but a closer look reveals a feature that seems out of place, unsettling even. You could say that it stopped me in my tracks. How did these scratches form when the front wheels are nowhere near them? The view down low from the front has cams is even more confounding. There are no tracks between the scratches and the front wheels. From this view, it looks like Perseverance just trundled up to the slab and was greeted by the scratches. At first, I wondered if they were caused by some natural event, like maybe a rock tumbling down slope. There are light-toned bits of rock elsewhere on this slab that I thought could somehow be related to a bouncing rock that passed through, but the lack of any other scrape marks in the scene, including upslope, had me doubting that scenario. It's a view out back that helps provide a more plausible explanation. Look how the tracks clearly show evidence for some maneuvering at the end of the drive. It looks like Perseverance came in on one trajectory and then changed its rover mind based on something it saw or sensed that its autonomous driving system didn't like. There's evidence for this maneuvering in front as well. Notice the displaced rock and the little pile of dirt in front of the wheel, which incidentally shows platy pieces that indicate there was a crust here. Also note the new passenger, which came on board on Sol 1265. A closer look toward the left side reveals relevant details. There are two displaced rocks here leading up to the scratch slab and just the vaguest hints of abrasion along the way. I suspect that these reveal the path of the left front wheel as Perseverance approached the slab and climbed onto it. This may have unsettled the rover in a way that its autonomous driving system recognized and then decided to take corrective action, leading it to pivot the left front wheel on the top of the slab and scraping it in the process. Perseverance then departed to the left, straightened the wheel, and backed into the final position. There are subtle tread marks on the slab and a hint of abrasion and displacement of this rock as evidence for these maneuvers. It's a bit surprising, or maybe eerie, that this big rover managed such a delicate dance on these rocks. But maybe this shows the otherworldly effect of a world with only 38% of Earth's gravity. <laughs> 